And now we want to bring in our political analyst, Professor Michael Genovese from Loyola Marymount University. We want to welcome you back. So Thank last you. month, you told us that Michelle Obama would be Hillary Clinton's secret weapon against Donald Trump. Does that still hold up after her convention speech? Well, you know, I'm right about one time a year, and I think I was right about that mm -hmm. one. She gave a stunning address, powerful, strong, and she's everything Donald Trump is afraid of a strong, independent woman who's a minority. So I, Michelle for president. <laughs> Getting ready for it. What were the Democrats hoping to accomplish in Philadelphia? They had several goals in mind. One, they wanted to contrast their message of hope, change, to the Republican message of gloom and doom and darkness. Yeah. They also wanted to contrast the, the two candidates, Hillary Clinton with her experience and her temperament, Donald Trump in experience and an emotional instability, they would say. They also needed to unify the party, mm -hmm. which was a tough call. And I think they wanted to reintroduce Hillary to an audience at a time when she might be able to establish some more positive images than she currently has. Mm -hmm. Of course, one of their secret weapons, Bill Clinton. We want to talk about uh, his speech, but first let's listen to a little okay. bit. I really want you to marry me, but you shouldn't do it. <laughs> she smiled and looked at me like, what is this boy up to? And what did you think of the speech? Well, you know, love him or hate him, he's a master politician. He's the natural, and uh, he can give a great speech. Um, and his job was to humanize her. His opening line in the spring of 1971, I met a girl. We can all identify with that. And so he really was the key to reintroducing her to an American public who had a set image of her that they need to soften. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In your opinion, what are some of the highs and lows of the convention? Well, I think uh, the contrast between the celebrity and political A-list stars was striking. In terms of celebrities, the Republicans had Scott Baio, Chachi, and mm -hmm. a, 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 TV, a, a soap opera star who, named Sabato, who, um, after his speech, said that Barack Obama is a Muslim. I'm mm -hmm. not making that up. Um, so they wanted to contrast that between then the Democrats with Paul Simon singing Bridge Over Trumbull Water, uh, Meryl Streep, Alicia Keys. So the star quality contrast. But more than that, the contrast between, I think, um, Hillary and the, Demo and the Republicans in terms of their supporters. Republicans had very few A-list speakers. Mm -hmm. The one they had, Ted Cruz, didn't even endorse. So the Democrats start with they had uh, uh, Cory Booker, mm -hmm. Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, Michelle Obama, and that's just the first one day. after another, right, right out of the gate. And then you had uh, Bill Clinton come on, and then day three you had Biden, Cain, you had Barack Obama. Then on the fourth day you had Hillary, and her job was to put some pizzazz into the sort of personality that she has, which looks more managerial. I think her speech was serviceable, but not really terribly effective. Mm -hmm. But the DNC came right after the release of all those emails. Do you think that Hillary Clinton was able to unite the party? Uh, only partly. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of Bernie or Bus folks who are still on the fence or said they're not going to vote for her. But I think as you get closer to Election Day, mm -hmm. if it's close, a lot of the Bernie people, instead of voting for Trump, which few will do, mm -hmm. some will sit it out, some will go green. But I think if it looks like a close election, a lot of those people will gravitate at the end mm -hmm. towards Hillary. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the convention, Donald Trump held a news conference. Why did he call on Russia to launch a cyber attack against Hillary Clinton? You know, it was one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. Here is a presidential candidate of a major party calling on one of our adversaries to engage in cyber hacking, mm -hmm. a crime, against the former Secretary of State. Um, now, Donald Trump, when he said it, people just, you know, went a, a gap. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then he had many opportunities to pull back that same day, and he kept on defending it. It wasn't until the next day, when I think his folks told him that you're going to be accused of treason, that he tried to pull it back by saying, oh, I was just joking. That wasn't funny. He wasn't joking. And uh, you just wonder what, what got into his head when he did that. You just never know. You never know. All right, All right Professor, thank you so much. And thank be you. sure to stay with KCAL 9 News and KCAL9.com for continuing coverage of Campaign 2016.